Indoor air quality is of particular concern for those affected by asthma and allergies. But a healthier home is of broader benefit to all. The Asthma and Allergy Friendly Certification Program seeks to assist people to identify products which will make a genuine difference to their indoor environment. It develops certification standards for relevant categories of products and all certified products undergo testing to those standards. In this way, the consumer can then make an informed choice about materials like flooring, paint, insulation and consumer electronics that they bring into their home. In the case of paint, the release of volatile organic compounds VOCs, from the paint during and after application can impact on those with sensitive airways. Additionally, some chemicals used in paint can cause sensitivities or even allergic reactions. Our certification addresses these issues. Our goal in the Asthma and Allergy Friendly Certification Programme is to create a healthier indoor environment for you and your family. And so we look at all elements of the indoor air environment. Some of the chemicals in commonly used paints can cause allergic reactions, and many paints release fumes when they are applied. We take a balanced approach in certifying products. It is not possible to make paint without using chemicals, and there are some chemicals which can have a negative effect, but which are necessary for different reasons. We want to identify paints that do not contain ingredients that are unnecessarily harmful. And we want to make sure that any necessary chemicals that can sometimes cause an allergic reaction are present at as low a level as is needed for them to function as intended. Paints certified asthma and allergy friendly are tested to the ASP 0401 certification standard. The first element is what VOCs, volatile organic compounds, are admitted when the paint is applied. We paint a sample surface with the paint and place it into an environmentally controlled chamber where we can measure all of the VOCs released over 14 days. We record the levels after 24, 48 and 336 hours to make sure that throughout this time period the levels remain low. We use earlier time points than many other labelling programmes. Some industry focused programmes start VOC measurements at 14 days because in a new build situation a new building would not be occupied until at least 14 days after the paint has been applied. But we're focused on consumers. If an individual paints their homes, it is important that VOC levels are low from the outset. And so we start our measuring at 24 hours. The second is the paint's performance. This means that we want paints to act like a paint. When you paint them on the wall, they should stick to the wall properly, they should dry in a reasonable time, and it should be possible to scrub them in a reasonable way without them breaking down. And it should be possible to clean a reasonable level of stain from them. We make sure that standardized performance tests have been passed for each paint that we certify. The third is the makeup of the paint. We do a detailed chemical assessment of all the constituents in the paint and what concentration they are present at. There are many chemicals which are known to irritate skin and or eyes or to which certain people can be particularly sensitive. But if they are present at a suitably low level and used correctly, this is unlikely to cause problems. So let's consider this certification comparison chart where we have examined a number of certifications and labeling programs within the paint industry. Here we are comparing the various programs against the following criteria, quality and performance, 
The paint should meet or exceed performance criteria such as adhesion, scrubbability and drying time. We also consider VOC emissions, assessment of the volatile organic compounds that are released at the time of application and up to 14 days. Formaldehyde emission, where the specific limits for formaldehyde presence is considered. And then there are other criteria where the certifications have been mapped against the asthma and allergy friendly criteria, but may also include other criteria such as impact on the environment and the circular economy. Music